This is a short video about casting keys using the multi-pick key copier. This is the actual device, which is nothing more than two halves of a mould which fit together, allowing you to take an impression of a key and cast a copy of it. The device comes in this kit with everything that you need, but I've made a few substitutions that work well for me in a physical pen test. This is what you want to be doing on the morning of your physical engagement when you have plenty of time to get it right. First, you're going to need the device itself. You're going to need some modeling clay to form the mold with. Uh, we're going to need some talcum powder and a makeup brush and a strong round tool to smooth the clay into place. So let's get started. Multipick themselves provide a two-part polymer-based impressioning material, and if you have plenty of time with a key, you should absolutely use that, because it produces excellent results. However, this polymer hardens within three minutes, so you can't really prepare the mould in advance. For most physical engagements, I can't guarantee how long I'll have with a key, so I want to use a material that won't cure by itself and stays usable all day. So I'm using about 15 grams of a high quality polymer oven bake modeling clay. It needs warming and manipulating before you can use it. So I'm just going to skip through about three minutes of mushing clay. Now that we have our warmed up clay, it's time to fill the two shells of the mold. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to split the clay in two and I'm just going to start squishing one piece into one half like this and I'm going to squish the other piece into the other half. This is the part that you really want to get right and take your time with. I'm just pushing it into place and then using something metal to smooth it out and make sure that the surface is really smooth and there are no imperfections on the surface because that's really going to affect the quality of our impression. And once that's done, I'm just going to make a little impression at the top of the mould to help with pouring the molten metal later on. And I'm just going to then repeat that process on the other side. Now we want to cover the surface of the clay in talc and this does two things. It stops the two halves from sticking together while you're transporting it and when you actually use the mould but it also allows the mould to breathe so when you're pouring the metal in this avoids bubbles and defects. Lots of people recommend carving little channels for the air and things like that but my experience is that you don't need to do anything like that if you're using enough talc. Once that's done, we just put the mould back together and that's all we need to take with us on our engagement in your pocket or probably in your bag. So first of all, we need a key to copy. Once you have some time alone with the key, pull out the multi-pick mould and open it up. Unscrew the outside and separate the two halves. Place the key carefully on one side and place the second half on top, carefully pushing the two together. Now the outside part, as you screw it back on, acts like a vice, squeezing the two halves together. So let's screw that down tight, making sure that the mould does the work and then leave it for a second. Now just unscrew the outside and pull everything apart again. Take the key out and you're done. Carefully put the mould back together and you're ready to cast the key. Okay, we're going to need the mould of the key that we've just taken, some of the low melting point alloy that comes with the kit, but we aren't going to use these fresh ingots. I'm just going to melt down an old key that I've already duplicated in brass and reuse that alloy. 
we're going to need a casting ladle and a jet lighter. So I'm going to take the lid off the mold that's been protecting it while it's in my pocket and then I'm just going to break this old alloy key into the ladle. Then it's just a case of melting the alloy which should take less than a minute. Once it's looking nice and liquid, we pour the metal into the mold and then we're just going to give it a few taps to get rid of any air bubbles. And then it's just a case of waiting a few minutes for everything to cool down. Okay, the moment of truth. Everything has cooled, so let's open up the mold and take a look inside. There's the key, and it looks good. No obvious air bubbles, no flashing. It looks like a success, which this process will be nine times out of 10. So let's try it in the lock. Let's take the original key out, try our copy. Perfect, first time. So there you have it. That's how quickly you can copy a key in the field. The key isn't particularly strong, so if you're going to be using this key a lot in the field, I would recommend making a brass copy using the blank and a file or a commercial machine. But as you can see, this is a perfect copy of the key. So there you have it. That's how you impression and cast a key in the field using uh, the multi-pick mold. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're keeping your physical keys safe.